What's up YouTube, it's Robo and I'm back with another tutorial video. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial video and you guys seem to like NVIDIA ones, so I decided to do one on NVIDIA's uh, capture program, the one that you can record gameplay, record your screen, and stuff like that. So, first thing you need is an NVIDIA GPU, obviously, um, and you also need to install NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Now, I've said in the past that GeForce Experience is terrible, and I still kind of agree that it's, that it's terrible, but it does have a sweet feature where it lets you record gameplay um, as you're playing or just regular computer screen and stuff like that. Um, so first you need to open up GeForce Experience right here. You can scan for games and stuff like that if you want to, but you don't need to. Um, then you click on this little setting, settings button right up here, the little cog symbol. And then uh, it'll check to see if your computer's ready. If you, haven't, if you haven't used GeForce Experience, you can look through this and see some different settings and stuff like that. But the, the option right here is what you want, share. And this will allow you to um, record gameplay. So you wanna make sure that is turned on. And then hit settings. And you can see, you can see all the different settings here that you can uh, set for your recording. So if you click on recordings, you can set where they're uh, going to uh, save to. And uh, broadcast lets you live stream. We don't have to worry about that for this video. Um, keyboard shortcuts is one that you want to make sure that you know. So I have uh, Alt F10 to record the last minute um, of my gameplay and stuff like that. So you can edit all the keyboard shortcuts within here um, and stuff like that. So if you click on connect, you can add your uh, different social media accounts, Facebook, Google, all that stuff. Um, and then HUD layout is pretty important as well. This is where it'll show uh, different icons as you're recording. So you can have your camera icon if you have a webcam. Um, status indicator shows that you're currently recording or if you're not recording. You can have FPS counter and if you're live streaming, you can have viewers. Um, I turn them all off except for the status indicator. And I keep that in the bottom left because it stays out of uh, all my gameplay and stuff like that. So. Uh, after you kind of go through these and, and check to see if all the settings are correct, you can hit done. Um, and then also, if you come over here and see these settings, instant replay, record, and broadcast, um, these are where you can turn on your live streaming and stuff like that. But these two are the ones you want to be looking at. Instant replay and record are two really sweet features. Record will record your entire gameplay as you're playing. Um, an instant replay, you can set it to be a specific amount of time. So I have it set to a minute. So if I'm playing and a really cool play happens or something funny happens, I can hit control F10 and it'll automatically save the previous minute. So I don't have to worry about having, uh, you know, 30 minute videos or hour long videos and, and cut it down to one minute of funny content or something like that. Um, but you can have it set to specific times by clicking on it and then go to customize. And you can also come in here and set the resolution, the frame rate. I have everything set to max. It's just to make it look the best. Um, and you can have the replay, replay length up here and it'll tell you how much uh, storage it's gonna take up for having that buffer. So I just have it for a minute and it's gonna take 375 megabytes. If I put it all the way up to 20 minutes, it's gonna save seven and a half gigs worth of data. Um, so if you, you can mess around with this and see what works for you. Um, but I set it to one minute just for the instant replay. I hit save. And if I want to record, I can turn that on and just record the entire gameplay. And it works perfectly fine. It saves in 60 FPS, um, 1920 by 1080. It looks great and it runs perfectly fine. It's just like uh, OBS. I use OBS. That's what I'm using right now to record, actually. You can see right here. Um, but this is really good for in-game gameplay and really good for the moments where you, you weren't recording previously and you wanted to get that perfect uh moment in the game you can save it to a specific amount of time so sometimes you'll run into this issue if you hit your capture button and you see this error message pop up all you have to do is open up geforce experience again and hit settings on the share option right here and then scroll down to privacy control and make sure this says yes so if you turn this to yes then you'll allow uh, this to basically capture your desktop as you're playing so I don't actually have to be in game to do this. So I, I'll just show you guys what it looks like if you hit. My keyboard combination is Alt F10. You do that and you can see the little notification up here and it saves the last 13 seconds. So depending on when I turn it on and uh, the amount of time that you're actually in a game, it'll save that amount of time. Even if you have it set to a minute or something like that, it'll only save the amount of time that it was actually turned on for. So you wanna make sure it's up and running before you start anything um, and, and make sure it's, it's good to go. Now, if you hit, um, I believe it's Alt Z for me, but it might be Control Z for you or any other type of combinations. If you guys change it, you can bring up the HUD display like I was talking about here, and you can go in and change stuff right on like on the fly as you're uh, playing your game or if you're recording stuff on your desktop. Um, so it's a really great program, honestly, from GeForce Experience. The, the optimization of games isn't that great. Um, 
this this part right here if you go into here and optimize it it's not always the best so i don't really trust that part but the screen recording is pretty sweet actually and it's free um, you can download it if you have an nvidia gpu and have fun with it so actually i'll show you what a recording looks like after i'm done and it will actually record your voice too if you have your mic set up uh, and your webcam so it's it's perfect for people who do gameplay videos and don't want to bother with having all these other programs running in the background um, geforce experience is always on as long as you have it on your computer and you can make sure that you're getting every single video clip that you get and it's actually pretty sweet, um, depending on the game you're playing or if you're just running on the desktop, it will actually automatically put it into separate folders for you. So I have some from Rocket League and League of Legends and just my desktop. So this was the most recent one that I just recorded like 10 seconds ago. So if I click this and run it, if you turn this to yes, then you'll allow, you can hear my voice, uh, this to basically capture your desktop. Everything I just showed you guys basically. So but I don't actually have to be it in looks game great. to do this. Runs so 1080p, 60 frames per second. It's it's a great program. Check it out. GeForce Experience. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Uh, hit this like button. Hit the like button if you guys like this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys.